35. Roll. Forty-three. So this is a, a setup where we are capturing brain activities as well as audio and visual data. And the idea is that uh, uh, we want to analyze brain and uh, want to understand uh, when some person is bluffing and not bluffing. And even seeing audio visual data to see if there is a, uh, some kind of a activity which is unusual or you can call, which can be associated with bluffing. What we do is we have uh, two people in two separate rooms and they are connected um, by video and by audio. And what they do is they play a dice game against each other. And um, they're given a money incentive. So um, they have, do have incentive to lie when they, get, when they roll a low number. And um, we look at, and we just look at uh, their brain waves when they're lying. The whole idea is to uh, win points by bluffing without getting caught. But one of the key things when we do these experiments is that we don't want people to have emotions or expressions which are what people like to call acted or artificial or simulated. So it is important to put the subjects into a natural state where they forget that they are really doing something for scientists, but they are just involved in doing this game. So we have found out, and our colleagues really from neurosciences have found out, that this particular game, after the first five or 10 minutes, uh, the subjects become almost unaware that they are uh, being observed by the scientists, and they really try expressing their true emotions, whether they are excited about doing something, winning something, losing something. And that way we are able to capture, quote unquote, annotated ground truth, spontaneous expression of emotion, which allow us to do systematic statistical analysis of what particular signals are really indicative of a particular emotion. So we're taking a lot of um, things into account. We're taking the respiration rate, so people you know, tend to breathe more when they're lying. Um, we're taking their galvanic skin response, which is um, kind of the potential, be um, their skin conductance. So um, that's what they do in a polygraph. Um, we're taking their uh, ECG, so we're looking at their heart rate to see if their heart rate increases when they lie. Um, and we're also looking at their EMG, so kind of like muscular movement when they're pushing buttons in our task. And then, of course, we're looking at, you know, brain uh, potentials across the whole head. So that's what the cap is for. So uh, as you see, the, these are the two uh, cameras. One, one of them is eye tracker, and the other one is the face camera, which is continuously capturing face data. Uh, and there is one microphone right here as well. And uh, there's another microphone which actually goes to the person, uh, close talking microphone, which collects uh, uh, audio channel as well. So th we have two audio channel per person. Uh, and uh, other, other cameras are uh, two, one of this, and the other one is the, uh, right across that side. And those two cameras are basically capturing uh, upper body movement, which includes hands and your torso, things like that. We are trying to see whether the brain signals are indicative of whether somebody is telling you the truth or somebody is trying to have fun and uh, uh, making a bluff uh, or somebody is too competitive and in an aggressive manner is trying to bluff. Uh, and as Professor Mickey's group is monitoring the brain signals, we are monitoring the facial features as well as sound, the way you say something to your opponent. Uh, Maybe that is going to be a cue whether you are telling the truth or you are t trying to hide the truth. And it's a recent study, but we are really excited that here we are fusing computer vision, then speech analysis, and neuroscientific analysis into one collaborative study.